All right, Shalom, Rastafari, uh, greeting the brothers and sisters. This is going to be a continuation in the in the um, deal with these speculations of whether His Majesty Haile Selassie I was a Freemason. We, have, we still have this um, sort of, here we go right here. We have this Haile Selassie was a Freemason. Notice how we put out the video. We say he wasn't. But now you got some folks here, and this is a site called um, uh, Torah Code hyphen NN. It's on the blog spot, right on blog spot. So here they show His Imperial Majesty with um, the British or the English Queen, right? Um, he says, they, they say down here, let's read it carefully, because we have to recognize where these people are coming from. First of all, let me just lay this down, let, let, lay, lay down this fact right here. There's a difference between um, um, Mason and Freemason. All right, if you really want to understand this issue, recognize there's a difference between Mason and Freemason. Most of the conversation out there on this particular issue does not distinguish those points. This is where a lot of the confusion comes in. There's a difference between facts. Um, pull up, um, if we look in the Bible, right, we'll recognize in the Bible, um, in the scriptures, if we look up Mason, let's just put Mason right there, Mason, right? And now some words get, get um, mistranslated. You understand? Get mistranslated in the King James Version. The King James Bible is a Masonic Bible. They say right here, they say Mason doesn't occur in the Bible. You see that right there? They say Mason doesn't occur. Now people say, oh, but you said look up Mason in the Bible. Okay, let's add S to it, right? Let's see what we have now when we add S. Depends on the search. So now we have seven, seven, um, seven places. There's Second Samuel 5 and 11. And it says that Hiram, king of Tyre. Now remember Tyre. Remember this place called Tyre right here. Remember this place called Tyre. T-Y-R-E. All right? Because there's a word that the prophet speaks to Tyre, and that's where we get the Lucifer or light bearer. But Lucifer that you have in your Bible is not a Hebrew translation. Though they tell you that it came from Hebrew, but it's actually a Latin or Vulgate translation. In fact, the Latin Bible is called the Dewey Reigns Bible. But anyway, it says that then Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, right, to David, and setter trees, and carpenters, and masons. But it says Freemasons, says and masons. And they built David a house. So who built David a house? It was Hiram, who was king of Tyre, Tyre and Hiram, he was not an Israelite. You understand? He was, he was not a, you know, in, in that righteous sense of being an Israelite. You understand? Or in that racial sense of being an Israelite. But what did he do? He sent masons, right? He sent, he sent carpenters and masons to build David a house. Remember we, when we speak of uh, Edomawi Haile Shalase, we speak of um, the greater, greater David, right? The, we speak about the conquered line of the tribe of Judah and the root of David, all right? The root of David. So let's go to the Blue Letter Bible. That's uh, uh, 2 Samuel 5, 11. So in 2 Kings 12, 12, right? 12, 12. And to masons and hewers of stone, right? The stone masons. So there's a difference between masons and hewers of stone, but if you... Read or listen to a lot of the, um, the babble about masonry that's going on. Some of it is true information, but some of it is false information, and a lot of it gets mixed up. Whenever they don't distinguish mason from Freemason, you're about to get mixed up. You know what I'm saying? You're about to get mixed up. You need to do due diligence. You need to study and show yourself approved to God, right, so you don't be blaspheming God. And to masons, right, and hewers of stone, and to buy timber and huge stones to repair the breaches, right? To repair what breaches? What breaches? We're not talking about breaches. We're talking about breaches. The breaches of the house of the Lord, the house of Yahweh. And for all that was laid out for the house to repair it. So we had to repair. Something had to be repaired. 
just like something that has to be repeated even in Ethiopia today. All right, so 2 Kings 22, right, 22 and 6, it says, um, unto, but really to carpenters, that un mean not to, un, undone, unclean, unkind. So really, if you're going to read it or pray it, say to. Don't say unto God, that means not to God, right? But to carpenters and builders, and what builders, and masons, and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Remember, this is all in connection with David and the Bible. All right, so when we're looking at Ketamawi Haile Selassie in Ethiopia, make sure we understand the context of this. Now, in First uh, Chronicles 14, um, 1, it says, Now Hiram, not Hiram Abyss, but that's where the Freemasons now make up a narrative, right? They make up a story. You know what I'm saying? Like Disney and, you know, they make up, a, they spin a yarn right, and weave another garment, right? Now, Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, right? Hiram, king of Tyre, that's like uh, um, the king of England, Edward, he sent what? Mm -hmm. He sent the Duke of Gloucester, Gloucester to David. And if anybody has that eight-page document where the scepter was returned to Ethiopia, please post it up there, you know, PDF it or whatnot. We need to get a copy of that in circulation. But here in um, First, uh, First uh, uh, Chronicles 14 and 1, it says, Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, and timber of setters or cedars, with masons and carpenters to do what? To build him a house. Uh -huh. So was David down of the Illuminati? You understand? Know was David a Freemason? So the same question they asked about Ketamawi, Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie first. Remember, we don't have to blame Haile Selassie first crowd. You understand? Know and a lot of entities, unauthorized entities. Anyway, let's go forward. First uh, Corinthians 22 and 2, excuse me, First Chronicles 22 and 2. And David commanded, he commanded, to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. So King David, he gathered who? He gathered the strangers. You understand? As Kedemawi, Haila, Selassie also gathered the strangers. Another point we want to debunk. Let's debunk this point. People say there's some fools out there who say, Oh, the Queen of England put Haila Selassie on his throne. Really? Well, how come he was coronated in 1930 and the Queen of England in 1950-something? How, how could that be? You understand what? Is it a time machine or something like that? More fantasy? Let's deal with reality right here. All right? So he commanded, right? David, right? David. Now, re recognize this. David has a son named Solomon. Solomon has a son named David. And David renewed the kingdom, right? The kingdom of David was renewed in Ethiopia. Let's recognize that fact. Otherwise, why does this one small country go through so much hell? It's, it's because of who they are. You understand what they represent to God and what that represents against Satan and against the Luciferians and the Satanists and the liars and the slanders and the racists against the black house of David. Now, David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel, right? And he set masons. To do what? So, so he ordered the Masons. Let's recognize this. <clears throat> Not the free, Freemason is, is, a, is a totally modern kind of Eurocentric thing. Let's recognize that. Right? To do what? To hew wrought stones to build the house of God. To do what? To be his servants. To serve us. Recognize that. Remember the judgment in Babylon? Of, against Babylon? Against, against these... Uh, uh, so-called white supremacists and whatever kind of denomination they want to call themselves, it says to reward them double, double for how they have served us. Because they have not served us. You know, they have served themselves and, and, and satanic interests, right? Even to spread these lies against his imperial majesty. Because look, look what we're pointing out. There are masons in the Bible. There's a difference between Freemasons and Masons. But most of these folks out there with their conspiracy theories and other kind of ideas are just confusing you if you don't have a root and a groundation and a foundation. So 
they were commanded to build uh, the house of God, right? Now, as you go forward in Second uh, uh, Chronicles 24 and 12, it says, And the king and uh, Jehoiada gave it to such as did the work of the service of the house of Yahweh, he who be who he be, his divine majesty, and hired, he hired, he hired masons, right? And carpenters to do what? To do what? To repair the house of Yahweh. And also such as wrought iron and brass to mend, to mend the house of Yahweh. Because what the Babylonians had done, like what the Babylonians are doing in Ethiopia and Africa today. You understand? So they're going into captivity. Recognize that. The Bible says that he who leads into captivity will go into captivity. He who kills the sword must, not might, not maybe, must be killed by the sword. This is just Bible right here. You understand? So you can accept it or, or reject it. But now, right here we have Ezra, right? We have Ezra 3 and 7. They gave money also to the masons and to the carpenters and meat and drink and oil to them of Zidon. Now, Zidon links with Typhon, the suit Typhonian. Just put that as a note and follow that up. And to them of Tyre, right, Tyre, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the Sea of Joppa, according to the grant, a grant, right, a grant, right, they, they receive the grant, so we think these things are new things today, right, we think we're so civilized and so modernized, but according to the grant that they had of Cyrus, or Koresh, Koresh, right, Cyrus, king of Persia, now Persia is Iran, that's why they keep talking about Iran so much in the news, I ran, he ran, she ran, I ran, you know what I'm saying, so right here we're getting a basic Mason overview. Now, if we look at Freemasons in the Bible, of course, there's not going to be any Freemasons in the Bible. But let's um, find something right here, builders, right? Let's look at builders, right? We have to recognize who, who are these builders, right? It says, um, it says, okay, no builders right there. Oh, no, it, it, it says, here we go right here, 14, 14, right? So First Kings 5 and 18 and Solomon's builders, and Hiram's builders. Remember Hiram, Hiram and the role he played in the white supremacist uh, spin. You know, what they do is take something, like what they do with Jesus or Yeshua, Yehoshua, Adonai. They took the real one and they whitewashed it. You understand? Know they corrupted it and they present you another Jesus, a bar Jesus, or Caesar Cesare Borgia. You understand? Know and, and, and here you might be able to check this out. Do we still have this page on right here? Just so you can see this difference that we're pointing out right here. We're going to deal with this point about, oh, is, is Haile Selassie, uh, is he a Mason? You understand? Because that's what they're asking. Is he a, a Freemason? They say, yes, he is. Look. Look at his hands. You understand? That's a salutation of peace. You understand? Know but they don't, they don't know what they just don't know. Let's see if we can get this page over here. Um, it's a little bit slow right here on the Facebook to come up. But let's keep reading this. It will probably spin over to that. And Solomon, right, and Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders. So Solomon had his what? Builders. Or we can call them today what? Masons, right? He had his builders, right? And Hiram had his what? He had his builders, right? And they did do what? They hewed them. They cut these stones. And there was the stone quarries, the stone quarries, right? So they prepared what? Timber and stones to build the house, to build the house. There was a work there. These were servants. You understand? Just as white supremacy was the servant of his imperial majesty until Jezebel, Elizabeth, and, and her bankers, got another idea until the crypto so-called Jews who call themselves Jews got another idea of the Rothschild Jews, got an idea, all right? She was put into bed for a while, right, to repent, but she obviously has not repented. So we see the scheme now is in, is, is in, is in, is in um, high speed, moving at high speed now, right, as it comes down to the time of the end. They don't got no new world order. You know what I'm saying? They never got no new world order. It's the same old shit, basically. It's the same old thing. 
1776, what's so new about that? Ain't nothing new about that. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing strange. You know what I'm saying? It's the same satanic game as it was as it was in heaven, so has it come down here on earth. And what we're seeing here is a reflection of what happened, you know what I'm saying, in heaven, this war in heaven, all right? That's why in Revelation when it talks about how Satan was cast down, right, and his angels was cast down in the earth with him, right, how his angels was cast down in the earth with him, um, it says, woe to y'all who dwell on earth, you know what I'm saying, because Satan has been cast down here. That's why we can see this in the Cold War, you know what I'm saying? With 1974, 75, with Ethiopia, with what is it, they call the Cold War, but it was a hot war for everyone else. So right here in 2 Kings 12, 11, it says, and they gave the money. You know what I'm saying? So it was no freebie here. They gave what? The money. Being told, right, into the hands of them that did the work that has the oversight or the Overseers right here of the house of who? The house of the house of Yahweh, of he who be who he be, his imperial majesty, right? His divine majesty. And they laid it out to the carpenters. So they laid this money out, right, to pay the carpenters, right, and the builders, the builders. I want you to keep that word in mind because it links. See, see. What you're getting is a dumbed-down story about the New World Order and the Illuminati. And, and a lot of them are not, I don't think a lot of them are really lying, in a sense, basically, uh, overtly. They just don't know. You know what I'm saying? They just don't know what they just don't know. There are some out there who do know better, who know that there's a difference between Freemason and Mason. You know, so when you hear this, oh, Haile Selassie, he was a Mason because of rah, 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 rah. It, all they're doing is playing to your ignorance because they know you're not going to critically think about this. So if you critically think about this, you say, wait, uh, Masons, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, free Masons? Well, why do they say free? You know what I'm Because they are free of God's law. They're free of the law of God. You ever hear the saying, um, free unto your fool? You know what I'm saying? Free unto your fool? You know what I'm The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. You understand? And that's what they're saying when they are lying against his imperial majesty, when they're lying against we, when they're lying against our father. You over? So this is not so much for them, but this is for you all, brothers and sisters, about this whole Masonic thing. Because they're still putting out this information. And in putting out the disinformation, many people are, you know, either um, um, suspending belief or, you know what I mean, or... Are, are in some state of uh, confusion mm -hmm. about what the facts of the matter really are, really who's who on the face of the planet Earth and what's what and what is really going on. Mm -hmm. So let's go on right here. So what they did, they laid out this money and they laid it out to the carpenters and builders that wrought, that wrought, in other words, that worked, in other words, that worked, right, upon the house of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So they were commissioned for the house of the Lord. Remember, it's Hiram is a tire, right? And Solomon and David, you understand, is of Jah, is of God. And Hala Selassie, the first, is of God. You know what I'm saying? The true God. And you, you, you know what I'm saying about that? The true God, because remember, there's the God of this world. When I talk about the God of this world, we're talking about the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, we showed this before. We showed it again. One of these men is God. You understand? It's God's elect. And the other is Satan's, is Satan's point man. One of these men represents Yeshua. I do not know Yeshua. And that's Kedemawi Hala Selassie. And one of these men represents Bar Jesus or Elimius, right? Caesar Bogias. This is Caesar. Remember when they crucified Christ, they said, we have no God or we have no king. They said, we have no king but Caesar. You know, was, so you, you really have to choose. You understand? Know because before you is put life and death. You understand? Know Whether you're going to go to the right, you understand? Know or you're going to go to the left, in other words. You know, or you're going to choose life, you understand? Know or you're going to choose death. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to believe the truth? You understand? Know Are you going to believe the truth? The woolly-haired one, the one with that jasper, 
in sardines, complexion, you know what I'm saying, according to the Bible, who has a rainbow circle throne, you know what I'm saying, or this other one, you know what I'm saying, this Johnny come lately, you know what I'm saying, this, this, uh, this uh, Caesar Borgias or Borghese, right? So you've got to choose, you know what I'm saying, but you've got to be informed so you can make the right choice. But they count on your ignorance, you know what I'm saying, they count on your mind control, they count on you being half awake, you know what I'm saying? And half asleep. You know what I'm saying? One of these man, you know what I'm saying, cares about humanity, has spoken the truth in Christ, you know what I'm saying? And his works manifest and bear witness. But they've lied and slandered his imperial majesty. They've slandered God. They've slandered the righteous. You know what I'm saying? The righteous man. You know what I'm saying? So the other one is about vanity. It's about vanity and insanity. You know what I'm saying? And greed. You know what I'm saying? And lies and corruption. You know what I'm saying? This one, you judge the fruit, you judge the tree by its fruit, right? You know what I'm saying? If you judge the tree by its fruit, it'll be very, very clear. Mm hmm. One represents, as you can say, the black world. You know what I'm saying? One represents true humanity. You know what I'm saying? The other represents white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? The other represents white supremacy. One represents God's supremacy, the true Christ supremacy. You know what I'm saying? The true word of God. And the other represents the lie. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to choose. So we say, I won. I won, yea and amen. Truth is truth. Without apologies or sorries or, or Babylonian issue, money worries, Caesar Borgias is a dangerous Caesar Bougier is a dangerous terrorist. This is probably the most dangerous terrorist in the world. You understand? The most dangerous terrorist in the world. Because what's a terror? Now, if you don't believe in white Jesus, they tell you you're going to hell. Even though if you believe in white Jesus, you're still living in hell and in lies and deception. You understand? But praise be to Jah, right? Praise be to the true and living God. You understand? For the true light that we have in these latter days and times in the person of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, in the person of Moa Anbesa, the Imnegeta Yehuda, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, Shiyume Gizyawiher, Nagusha Nagesh, the Ethiopia, the King of Kings of Ethiopia. Yehovah's. Now, let us look a little bit more at this, because we're going to touch on the Torah Code you know what I'm saying? And this page that we happen to come across, all right, a page disinformation out there, right, that we happen to come across. Mm-hmm. So you have to choose, but you have to be informed. They are counting on your ignorance. You know what I'm saying? They are counting on your ignorance. Once one starts to read the Bible, they say, wait, it says he has woolly hair. They say, wait, 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 his feet are as brass as burns in the fire. Right? They say that, well, Jesus is an olive skin. They say he's olive skin. Well, there's two kinds of olives. There are black olives and there are what? Green olives. You know what I'm saying? Which one is an olive skin? I mean, really. You know what I'm saying? This is the shading of the picture. This is the painting. This is the work of a man's hand. This is what they're worshiping, the work of a man's hand. You know what I'm saying? This is a true and living man. Kenamali, Kaila, Selassie. That's the true, he is the true and the living man, all right? So when we are looking at this issue about Mason and Freemason, we must first of all define terms, mm-hmm. So when they say, how does Elisha is a Mason, you understand? Or a Freemason, you know, you know, they flip it around, they'll say Freemason, you understand? And then they'll say, well, look, he's doing something Masonic, you understand? But all this comes out of Ethiopia, the, the real roots you understand, the real civilization, and we, we can even see it today, you know what I'm saying, they still are finding art and facts and stealing it and then misrepresenting it to the pu public and then try to say, well, the Egyptians didn't build it, it was not the black Egyptians, now, because now you can recognize that the Egyptians were black people, you understand, anybody who has um, half a wit and is not filled up, you understand, of racism, you understand, of lies and deception can recognize that the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, the true Egyptian, the Ruti people, that they were black people. 
that they were Ethiopian people and they were not European people. You know what I'm saying? So because they can recognize that, now they're trying to say, well, it was actually extraterrestrials. It's actually people from another world or something, or ETs. Uh, what you mean, Ethiopians? You know what I'm saying? Extraterrestrials. And the reason why they don't recognize that connection there, even the Ethiopians, you know what I'm saying, is because of all this trauma. You know what I'm saying? This trauma that they have been through. You know what I'm saying? All these lies and deception. And because of their own carelessness and their own lack of repentance and opening up their eyes and, and looking and seeing what they have done. It's like the Garden of Eden, you understand, where they were in the garden, you understand? But instead what they do is they listen to the lies of the serpent. You understand? They listen to the lies of the serpent and the serpent people and the reptilians, you understand? And they eat of that forbidden fruit. You understand? They eat of the forbidden fruit and they destroy the garden. You understand? And we know that, you know, the garden, you understand, is out of Africa. As Theo Post has a song, I discovered a version that's not the King James Version. For out of what? Africa, you understand, came the Garden of Eden, the Ganetta Aden, the Ganetta Aden, right? The gar and, and you can even tell this when you look at the Horn of Africa. If you look at the map of the Horn of Africa, the very interesting thing you will find when you look at the map of the Horn of Africa, you will see that there's the Gulf of Aden. The Gulf of what? Aden. They say, oh, it's Aden. It's not Eden. It's the same word. See, they, they confuse you because you're ignorant about the Afro-Shemitic language. And yes, it's Afro-Shemitic. You know what I'm saying? Afro-Shemitic. In other words, we're speaking about black peoples, if you please. All right? So let's see if we can move this over. The computer's a little slow. You know what I'm saying? They recognize, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to, you know, stop us through their devices. You understand? But in the, in, in the blood of Gietai Yesus, we rebuke them. You understand? We rebuke them. We rebuke all of them. In the name of our black Lord and Savior, Adunenu Yeshua HaMoshiach. Right? We rebuke them for their lies. We rebuke them for their slanders. So now, let's go right here. Okay, it says stop script. So let's stop this script right here. You understand? So you can see that even through these devices, we're in a spiritual warfare. That's what you got to remember. We're in a spiritual warfare right here. Yovas and, and spirit, if we go into the technicalities of it, you understand, there's a level of spirit which is electromagnetic. You understand? So a lot of this technology functions through the whole electromagnetic paradigm. Yovas, that's why strange, you know, that's why strange things, you know, strange things are, are happening. All right, so let's see if we can get, take this off right here. Right, if we can take this off right here and get back to, to, to where we were. We might have to do this in a part two until we can rearrange, you know what I'm saying, until we can rearrange this right here. Okay, here we go. So let's go back to Torah. Okay. Let's go back to Torah code. All right. Let's go back to Torah code right here. Might have to pause this for the cause because um, we're trying to slow down our... Our, our our lesson right here, you understand? Um, and here we go. It should it should it should go off on here. All right. So the number of blonde hair, blue eyed people, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, you don't really hear about the what they're doing to black people and people of color, how they're sacrificing children, how a lot of children are ending up missing because they're being they're being fed to Moloch. You understand? They're being fed to Baal. You understand? They're being fed to the hyperdimensional demonic entities, you understand that these pseudo Illuminati or New World rulers are about. So, like I said, we might have to pause this right here and kind of come forward with a part two on this particular subject matter. So, let's give it a couple of more moments. But once again, let's just regurgitate the point. You know what I'm saying? Let's chew the cud on this particular point. You understand? For the clean animals. They, they regurgitate, they ruminate their food. They regurgitate, you know, they, they ruminate it. They, they chew it. You understand? You know, they chew it. You understand? They masticate it. So we have to really get to, get to the fine details of the point. So there's a difference between um, Freemasonry. Freemasonry is a latter-day Eurocentric um, 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 invention. 
You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of days like when they talk about hostile takeover, when a, when a corporation is hostilely taken over. You know what I'm saying? But when we speak about Mason, we're speaking about an occupation. Let's understand what we're talking about. We're talking about an occupation. You understand? A building. You understand? The fact is that Africa lacks true Masons, true careers, true builders. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you look at a lot of things, either the Europeans built it, you understand, or in some rare cases like Ethiopia, what we've been reading about in the Bible, you understand, with Hiram sending to David, you know, workmen and carpenters and so forth and so on. Okay, this thing is going a little bit slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably pause for the cause right here um, and, and give, it a, give it another, you know, another moment or so and then come forward with it. Because we've got a couple of pages we want to go back and forth and kind of show you a couple of things right there and, and really rebut, you know, this continual lie about his imperial majesty. His imperial majesty was not under their order. Let's recognize that. He was not under their order. You understand? They had recognized the great luminary. They recognized the one who actually was from the more ancient order. You know what I'm saying? And they were caught up. You know what I'm saying? And they could not do anything. And then they recognized, wait, just like with Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? They recognized that some of his own people, you know what I'm saying, were like Iscariots. You know what I'm saying? And they played to the Iscariots, you know what I'm saying, to betray the Messiah. The same, very same, one and the same thing has happened with his imperial majesty. Now, um, right here, we're gonna we're gonna pause because this thing is this thing is uh it's a little slow, you understand? Know but it should uh it should it should come forward to uh it should come forward again. All right, this is one of the books right there. All right, so let's um let's pause this let's pause this for the cause, and we'll come in with the part two with the part two of this and continue on this uh, rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? We're going to clarify even everything down to the hand sign. People say, oh, but wait, there's these Masons and these globalists, they're doing the hand sign today. You know what I'm saying? That's right. They're doing it today. They're doing it after his imperial majesty. They didn't do it before his imperial majesty. Let's, let's make that very clear. They're doing this in the so-called A.D. time. You know what I'm saying? It's like white people doing Christianity. They did it in the A.D. time. You understand? And even Judaism is more in the A.D. time than in the B.C. time. You know what I mean? And this is why, all right, this is why we're going to pause for the cause and come in with the part two of this. Okay? Shalom Rastafari.